This video is on our stock number 32934MP mini thermostat. Uh, it is truly a small little unit here. It has two set buttons on the front, one mark set, one mark CF. Uh, currently it's displaying, it's displaying Celsius. Uh, it operates off of uh, 12 volts DC on the back. Uh, you can see this, you hook it up to the terminal here. Uh, it has a single pole, single throw relay, also output through the terminal block. Be, be sure you hook it up correctly, make sure you pay attention to the data sheet. A little sun alert for buzzing, making noise. Uh, it only has one foot of wire to the thermostat. It would be nice if it was a little longer, but uh, it's designed to fit into a uh, cutout of about 46 millimeter by 27 millimeter and snaps right in. Well, it comes from the factory in a cooling mode, so we're going to, to deal with the factory settings, and, and I'll show you how to change the programming later. But uh, right now it's 20, it's in Celsius, and I personally prefer Fahrenheit, so you press the CF button once, and it will change the, the unit to display Fahrenheit. There we go, converted to Fahrenheit. Okay, and like I said, in cooling mode. So there's, it comes from the factory with about uh, 2 degrees uh, Celsius hysteresis and about 3.6 Fahrenheit hysteresis. So this means we'll have to heat this up to about 80 degrees or so, just a little over, to get it to, uh, to turn the relay on. And you see the relay turns on, and that, that's an indication that it's, that it's active. Uh, the set, it's set at 77 degrees is, a, is the, the uh, off point. So we're going to have to cool it down to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a little, little bit of ice water here to cool it. And as you can see, it, the, the relay turns off. Okay, well, obviously that's not a great setting for everybody. So let's, let's learn how to program. You can change the set point by pressing once the uh, top button. Then once it starts flashing to blue, you can change your set points up and down until you get the desired temperature. It flashes a few seconds, and once it stops flashing, the program is set. Okay, now you want to get into heating. Uh, let's, let's change this into the heating mode. You press and hold the set button until it displays P0. That's, that's the, the, the first, first setting. C is for cooling. Oops, if you're not fast enough, it, it will go back to running the program. You need to press both buttons at simultaneously, and once the, the C starts flashing, uh, you can click up and down, C is cooling, H is heating. So just simply leave it on the H, and once it go, stops flashing, it goes back into the, now it's in the heating mode. So at this point, um, it will probably have to get down to about, still the 3.6 degree hysteresis. We'll have to cool this down just a little bit to get the relay to turn on. See the relay uh, LED turns on. Uh, now we have to get the temperature up to 76 degrees to get the relay to turn off. So we'll rub the thermos, the probe between the fingers, yep, and it, the relay turns off. Okay, next program, P1. This is how you change the hysteresis. Press and hold the set button. Oh, didn't hold it long enough. Just wait till it stops flashing. Okay, press it again, press and hold. Now P0, press up one and you get P1. Uh, well there again, press both buttons to enter the program. Once it starts flashing, this is your hysteresis. You have, you can change it from 0.1 to 30 degrees hysteresis. Then when you get to your set point, just leave it, and when it stops flashing, it will automatically go back into run the program, running the program. Okay, now we get into P2, which is just a kind of a safety feature. It's a high set limit, so, so no one can accidentally adjust the temperature too high on you while, while you're running the program here. Uh, so you press and hold, go to P2, you can see factory sets uh, 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes holding both little buttons is, is a little tricky. Oh, come on. Press both buttons at once. Once a flashing, you can change the setting. This is just a safety feature. You don't need to use it if you don't want to. 
I'm going to lower it down to the 80s just to show you how how, how, the, how the unit works. Oh, yeah, 95 degrees. Okay, once it stops flashing, it goes back into program. Now you'll never be able to set this set temperature above 95 degrees. There. No matter what you do, you cannot get it to, to go above 95. Well, once it stops flashing, it goes in program. Now, P3 is the uh, low set limit. Same function, just won't let you set below a certain temperature. Press and hold both buttons to enter the program. Once it's flashing, you can adjust it. Let's say you don't want anybody to be able to adjust it below freezing. Once it stop flashing, and uh, press once. And you see you cannot, simply cannot adjust it below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it stops flashing, it goes back to program. Now we get into P4, which is a temperature correction. Let's say you run a, a long distance cable and you need to, need to correct compensate for any temperature difference. Uh, you can adjust it from plus or minus 15 degrees. But it's factory set at zero. Okay, then we have P5, which is a, relay, a delay turn on. Um, oh, get it, got to hold it long enough. P5, I'll give you up to a 10 second delay. Simply held both buttons, then you see flashing, and you can adjust it up to 10, up to 10 seconds. And, but it comes factory set at zero. Now, we get into P6, which is a high temperature alarm. This is a little interesting and a little tricky. It comes turned off. Press and hold both buttons. Turn it on. While it's still flashing, press both buttons again. And it comes factory set at 230 degrees. So we're going to lower it down to oh, let's, into the 80s. And I'll show you how it works. Unfortunately, this is being audio is being dubbed over. So you're not hearing the beeping sounds. I'll try to dub in some sounds just to give you an idea what it sounds like but uh, set it down to 87 degrees and we'll warm up the thermostat, the probe and when it hits 87 degrees it should start flashing and beeping Okay, maybe I should have set it a little lower. Okay, almost at 87 degrees, and there you go. And as soon as it cools below 87 degrees, um, there, it start, the, the buzzer goes off and uh, starts displaying the temperature again. P7. Okay, the next function is P7. Uh, this simply allows you to preset whether you want Celsius or Fahrenheit when it's powered down and powered back on. And I personally prefer Fahrenheit, so we'll just leave it on FH for Fahrenheit. And once it's back, it's, it's back displaying the program. Uh, final one is P8, which is a simple factory reset to all the factory settings. Uh, hold the button for three seconds. Navigate to P8. Hold both buttons. P8. Yeah. It's difficult to hold both buttons sometimes. One more try here. Okay, it's flashing. Change to on. Simply leave it. And when it goes back to running the program, as you can see, it's back to Celsius, which is the factory setting. 
and that is the basic running of the unit. Uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward, once you get used to pressing both buttons. But uh, thank you for watching our video.